Dear investors out there, hold your cash now and think twice before you leave. Do you want to listen to the richest man on the planet talking about the future of the economy? In today's video, we explain Elon Musk's tweet and predictions on the future of the United States economy. The bigwig investor come finance analyst Elon Musk has raised the alarm that we are en route into a recession on the order of 2009 in the coming months. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos also cautioned to batten down the hatches as the economy will probably offer tougher times ahead. According to Elon's predictions, the recession may stick around until the spring of the following year, 2024, and its words are not as soothing as Bezos' statement. There's no need to panic. Keep watching the video till the end as we share Elon Musk's strategy to make strides in a recession and avoid taking a beating. The kingpin of the crypto community and the Dogecoin developer, Shibatashi Nakamoto, tweeted that since COVID-19 cases are declining, people should only be concerned about the impending global recession and nuclear holocaust. While Elon Musk asserted that it would be better if we went an entire year without experiencing any horrible global events. When Tesla's owner Silicon Valley Twitter page inquired Musk how long he believed the recession would last, to which he guessed that it would last until the spring of 2024. It's wiser to consider the words of Elon as it suggests being prepared for the worst. The statement by the International Monetary Fund expects the growth to decrease from 3.4% last year to 2.9% this year, also agrees with Elon Musk's predictions. The mean performances of Tesla stocks last year exactly approves of Musk's signals of an upcoming economic decline and indicates the thoughtful consideration of the same is inevitable. Not only Elon's company, but the entire auto industry has already realized the recession thrust as they had to curtail vehicle prices over the last few months, notably to stimulate demand. Recently, Elon communicated his observation that the United States is still a cut above China and Europe. He commented, North Americans are in sufficiently good health. A little bit of that is raising interest rates more than they should, but I think they will eventually realize that and bring it back down again. While China is now encountering a housing crash parallel to the grave financial crisis, Europe's economy is still being dismantled by high energy costs. European people indeed protested that towering energy bills last year. The escape mechanism is not all sunshine and lollipops for the approaching years either. Through margin investing or accepting a loan from a broker to buy securities comes with big risks and rewards. Many are invested in testing their luck in it. So here is a strict warning from Elon for those investors to avoid investing on margin. He repeatedly affirmed that people will be oppressed in the unstable stock market if they have margin loans. According to Elon, margin debt is something that needs to be taken care of when there is a mass bust in the stock market. Consequently, with higher interest rates, people will purchase less and borrow less as well. This trend will gradually retard the economy as a whole, and we must confront inflation. People will begin economizing on their spending as they are unable to afford moderate purchases with debt. In addition to what has been said, higher interest rates invigorate the savings attitude as people get much more yield on bonds, money market funds, or other cash equivalent investments. As stated by Musk, the U.S. economy is in line for a recession following a 14-year bull run. When it comes to the car industry, Musk attached another aspect that the demand in the automotive market will be good regardless of contractions as a whole. Recently, we saw that Tesla came up with a single and even double-digit price reduction on its models. The company's profit margins has been relatively shelled out for volume and market share. Elon also alleged the need for a Federal Reserve Bank to be extremely cautious while deciding how to negotiate the rate hikes. He also tweeted, proposing to reduce the Fed funds rate by 0.25% and 0.5% on different occasions. Tesla has made a purposeful choice to cut 10% of its salaried staff in a view of the recession around the corner. It reminds us of Stanley Drunken Miller's decision to take a break from trading, foreseeing the bear market boomerang that occurred in July 2022. His signals hit right, and the market experienced the dead cap bounce while it made a profit. The past events underline the warning about an imminent 2023 recession and the necessity to be ready to face it. According to Elon, the current financial crisis could be almost identical to the conditions of 2009. Let's check the tweet of American investor and CEO of ARK Invest, Kathy Wood. The bond market is signaling that the Fed is making a serious mistake. At negative 80 basis points, as measured by the 10-year versus 2-year Treasury yields, the yield curve is more inverted now than any time since the early 80s, when a double-digit inflation was entrenched. Kathy Wood has always been commenting about how the Fed operates on lagging indicators without thinking about the overall consequences of its actions. 
She added that an inverted yield curve indicates a recession or lower than expected inflation than expected. Deflation is a much bigger risk than inflation. Commodity prices and massive retail discounts corroborate this point of view. When Elon himself came across this tweet, he absolutely agreed to it. In October 2022, Jamie Dimon, the chief executive officer of J.P. Morgan Chase, was observed expressing his opinion, which contradicted what Musk said. According to Dimon, the impending recession will be a major problem, although he believes customers will be in a much better position than during the 2008-2009. Still, Dimon is hinting at an upcoming economic hurricane moving in parallel with Elon Musk. Dimon has issued a recessionary warning in which he commented that Europe is already in recession and they are likely to put the U.S. in some recession six to nine months from now. In a matter of seconds, the situation can go from very soft to quite stiff. And it's crucial that everyone should find one shelter before the hurricane engulfs everyone. Before the video ends, let us briefly contemplate the best recommendations Musk offers in the upcoming recession. Elon put forward some excellent recommendations to thrive during the recession period more wisely. During his appearance on the All In podcast, Elon advised the investors on the do's and don'ts on trading. He said, by Musk in 2023, the magnitude of the recession is debatable, but it will be at least a light to moderate crisis, potentially of the same degree as 2009. Musk suggests to the investors the importance of keeping the powder dry, referring to a solid cash reserve. He asked the investors to brace for hard times by setting aside cash. According to him, staying in an uncertain market without conserving cash is idiotic. The next suggestion was to avoid debt by making prudent bets without using borrowed money. The tech billionaire quotes, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. He said it is dangerous to get too adventurous at this time. Musk has been striking the recession alarm recently and warning the Federal Reserve's flurry of interest rate hikes this year has increased the risk of serious downturn. In response to rapid inflation, the U.S. Central Bank has raised rates from almost zero in March to over 4% today and signaled that they could peak over 5% next year. While higher rates can help alleviate pressure on prices upward by discouraging spending, borrowing, and hiring, they can also knock down the asset prices, decompose corporate profits, and cause the economy to diminish. As we discussed earlier, for business owners to stay away from margin debt, the best solution is to warn and cut fat from the company before a recession sets in. That is exactly what Elon did at Tesla. He also said when you have exponential growth that goes on for a long term, it starts drizzling money on fools. The sad truth is that this phase is temporary and does not last forever. Sooner or later, capitalism will wipe out the impotent companies and professionals that are not competitive enough. Such individuals and organizations are vulnerable and will struggle the most as they cannot stay afloat when tough times come around. We have to keep in mind that economy is cyclic and neither booms nor recessions last forever. In such volatile market circumstances, we have to expect pretty extreme things happening, and the preparations for the same should be done well in advance. We hope that this video helps you to face the enormous economic storm which is on the rampage and it's almost knocking at your door. Elon is well aware and warns us of the ravaging hurricane. With that in place, should we be nervous about the situation? Let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Let's learn to keep the wolf out of the door. With this video, we make sure you have a clue of how you can propel your way out of this incoming problem. Take a while to share your thoughts and let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, see ya.